For dessert, Emma has made a flourless dark chocolate cake with chocolate ganache, raspberries and creme fraiche. Pretty. I host a lot and I definitely host hard. <laughs> We had some pretty extraordinary dinner parties. There were like hippos watching us having dinner, which is casual. Casual, <laughs> you know, casual night along me. You'll hear a lot of animals roaring and you'll see some unusual things. <laughs> Emma, are you more comfortable now, second round, your I'm own dishes? Trying to be. I think it's about precision and being decisive and executing something very cleanly. What makes a great dinner party? Variety. Variety is the spice of life. A good guest list and a good, good cocktail menu. <laughs> what are you making to impress right now? So I love shellfish. King prawns with a shellfish medley and some crushed peas and a velouté sauce. Where did your love of shellfish come from? We go to Portland and we have a beach heart and I love, you know, tasting that lovely English shellfish, which is so delicious. And for putting the flourless dark chocolate cake. So Why just... flourless? Mm. I love it. I actually prefer it, and I think it's more sort of indulgent. It feels special. If people are coming to my house, I think it would show that I've made an effort. I love mussels and clams, as long as they're nice and bouncy and they're not too chewy. The prawns, like she's going to cook them in lots and lots of butter, plenty of seasoning. She's taking the liquid from the clams and the mussels with some fish stock into a roux and making a sauce that's going to go around the outside of the whole thing. That's going to be really quite strong and potent. I just hope it's not overpowering. Dessert is a flourless chocolate cake. Well, let's see what texture she ends up with. If that's too thick and sticky, that's just going to be like a firmed up sauce. She's going to serve that with cream. That should mellow it down a bit, but that could be too rich. 20 minutes gone, all right? Time just flies in this kitchen. It's touch and go, bruv. It's a little dish, it's a big spoon, and it's not a lot of crumble. Do you see my problem? Oh, look at that bass. Yeah. Jamie, looking good. Yeah. You've got just 90 seconds, guys. 90 seconds left. And you all right? Just doing pretty bits. Yeah. Jamie, you all good? I'm good, man. Good lad. Right. Cabbage. Cabbage. Yeah. 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 That's it. Time's up. Step away from your benches, please. Time's up. Now, I didn't think that was going to happen. I don't know if the chicken's cut through. I don't know if I've put the right amount of spices into the sauce. Yeah, I'm happy, I think. Yeah. Emma. Hey. Up you come, please. Go on, Em. <laughs> Go on, em. <laughs> Everyone's so nice. <laughs> really? Yeah, they are. Emma's dinner party main is a seafood medley with king prawns, mussels and clams, along with crushed peas and a seafood velouté. You have a good eye for presentation. Prawns are cooked, mussels are cooked, everything's giving a, a salty sweetness of the sea. There is sweetness in the pea, it's nicely seasoned. You know how to make a velouté, and you've used the cooking liquid from the shellfish. Oh, that's a job well done. Oh, thank you so much. The sweet peas, great. The little bit of rocket running through the whole thing, a bit of pepperiness. Tastes good, that's for sure. It's, and it's great textures. It's really nicely cooked. Thank no you. No two ways about it. OK. That's good. For dessert, Emma has made a flourless dark chocolate cake with chocolate ganache, raspberries and creme fraiche. Pretty. Lovely combination. Yeah. 
You obviously really <laughs> love chocolate. <laughs> it's well made, but that's a lot of rich yeah. chocolate. And I think you need half the amount and maybe yeah. a biscuit base okay. underneath it or something, because that's a lot of chocolate. I couldn't consume that much. Yes. OK. Greg and I don't always agree. <laughs> <laughs> If your main course is subtle and, you know, dainty and pretty and light, your dessert is just banging your face <laughs> as much chocolate as it possibly can give you, rich, dark and opulent. I think it's really well made. I, it delivers huge amounts of flavour. I think it's a pretty dish and I really like it. Greg said it was too much chocolate. <laughs> uh, John didn't fully agree. The flavours have been good, and hopefully that matters a lot. And the rest will come with practice. This is a crash course in cooking, isn't it? On telly. <laughs> Not stressful at all. 